J.J. Watt has been granted his release from the Houston Texans in a move that was both shocking and maybe not so surprising at the same time. I'm Robin Lundberg here with Bill Enright. And Bill, you know, I say the, the first part of that, shocking, just because this guy has been the Houston Texans, right? But when, when you get to the latter aspect of it, he's not quite the, the same player he once was. And, and I think this is also a commentary on the state of that franchise and that organization, given we know what, what's been going on with Deshaun Watson as well. But as far as Watt's concerned, you know, what should be next for him? I, I hear the Pittsburgh Steelers mentioned a lot. And what about the, the, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers? Not, not like they, they need help on that defensive line, but you could always add to his strength. Yeah, so th this is the point in J.J. Watt's career where he gets to pick uh, where he lands, right? And, and he will go to a Super Bowl contender. I think it makes sense for people to link him to the Pittsburgh Steelers. Uh, we know that his brothers play there. Uh, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you mentioned them. They're just coming off a big Super Bowl win. And maybe J.J. Watt wouldn't have to be an every down player now that he's entering the, the you know, back nine of his career. Uh, Green Bay, he's a Wisconsin guy. I think that makes a lot of sense. But they would have to do an extensive amount of work on their cap. I, I think they're, they're way below their cap number. You look at the NFC West with the Seattle Seahawks. Uh, Los Angeles Rams and the San Francisco 49ers. 49ers have a great defense. They just lost their defensive coordinator. But how about J.J. Watt and Bosa being on the same defensive line? I think that would make a lot of sense. Regardless of where he goes, he's going to be one of those players that the fans instantly love. He's a guy that you can root for. You know he's very charitable. Did a lot for Houston during Hurricane uh, Harvey. S created that, I don't know what the name of it, the J.J. Watt fund maybe it was. But I, I think they raised over $30 million for Hurricane Harvey relief in that Houston area. So the fans are going to love him. His teammates are going to love him. The coaches are going to love him. But he will be on a team that is a legitimate Super Bowl contender. Don't expect him on the Cincinnati Bengals in 2021. Expect him on a top 10 team in the NFL. And at this point in his career, he deserves to sign with a team that you know is going to win, uh, have double-digit wins in this season. Well, no matter how dysfunctional it is in Houston, you wouldn't expect him to leave there where he, he's always been to go to, you know, something that isn't greener pastures, if you will. He, he did put out a video thanking everybody I involved. You know, uh, and we're already processing it and spinning it forward. But, you know, how surprised were you, even where he's at right now, to see him released for nothing? Yeah, this is kind of a, a thing that we see in the NFL, and, and it's hard to believe when you have a player that's the face of the franchise all of a sudden decide, listen, I'm, I'm done with you guys. We have to go our separate rate ways. And, and, and Watt was an incredible member of the Texans for a very long time, helped lead that defense, had back, uh, I think, 20 and a half sacks in the, in the first, twice in the first five years of his career. He, he was a monster. And, and you see the Texans deteriorating right before our, our eyes. And it just kind of, goes to show that I think Deshaun Watson's days in Houston are certainly uh, numbered as well. They're going to have to ship him off and really satisfy his demand to be traded. But in terms of Watt, Robin, I think it will be kind of that next thing that we see with these professional athletes where we're so used to seeing them in one uniform. And then as fans, we have to get adjusted Oh, yeah, wow, J.J. Watt, wow. We're going to see him now in a, in a Pittsburgh Steelers uniform, in a Green Bay Packers uniform. It, it will take some time to, to get adjusted to seeing him wear a, a New Jersey. Well, Watson's still a franchise player, right? With Watt, you know, a lot of times when a guy does get to this stage of his career, maybe a more limited role um, can revitalize the production, even if you're not getting the, the production over the, the full course, if you will, you're in, in the spots that you get it, he could still be a valuable player.